Hey friends, today I have a Goodwill thrift haul to share with you. Pink tags were half off today, so I got this set of two and this set of two for $1.50. They were initially taped around the both of them here. These are Pyrex C handle mugs in the butterfly gold pattern. You can see right here, that's the Pyrex logo on the bottom. And I do have these mugs in the D handles as well that I thrifted somewhat recently. My mother had actually picked them up, so I will link that video if you're curious in seeing the difference style of the mugs. But yeah, I thought that was a pretty good deal overall. And then I saw this really neat mid-century looking butter dish. This has a melamine top and a stainless steel bottom. Initially, I couldn't see any markings on it, but after I got it home, I did see this little teeny marking here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can barely see it myself. But it does say WMF Kromargen, Germany. I think I'm saying that right. And I did look this up and it is from the mid-century, so I thought that was pretty neat. I couldn't find any with this same exact color of top here. I saw a bunch with clear and stainless steel, so I don't know if this is rare or not, but I thought it was pretty neat anyways. And I like those from Germany, that's kind of neat. So it was $2, I got 25% off, so I paid $1.50. I was really excited when I found this. I actually had a set of two of these growing up, well my mother did, and it was our candy dishes when we grew up. They were actually in the blue color though, which I do prefer, but this amber color is really pretty as well. This is Carnival Glass by Indiana Glass Company and from around the 1960s. Uh, this is a pedestal bowl and this is the thumbprint pattern, uh, also called the King Crown, uh, King's Crown pattern. You can see it kind of it has this scalloping here. So I was happy to find this. I would have liked to have found a matching set, but that's okay. I'll keep my eyes out and see if I can find one more to have the full set of two there. And this was marked $4, so I paid three with my discount and I was very, very happy to find this, so yeah. So the next piece I picked up was this really pretty vintage banana bowl here. I was really happy to find this. I collect vintage colored glass and I have a lot in green actually. And so I was pretty stoked to be able to get this. It was only priced at $4, so I got $3 got it for three dollars and this is in the st uh, moon and stars pattern and i believe le smith was the original maker of this i am not certain but that's what my little bit of research showed and you can see it has this really pretty pedestal bottom here i think it's absolutely gorgeous uh, it seems to be in great condition and yeah i was very very happy to find this so I've been taking a break from picking up milk glass for a while and I just started to get back into it. Milk glass has been selling in my booth again and I've been coming across pieces that are a little more unusual than what I was finding before so I have been grabbing them. I thought this was really really beautiful. It is the grapes and leaves pattern. Super gorgeous. This is an anchor and hawking low pedestal bowl in the grapes and leaves pattern. This is from around the 40s and 50s, so I thought that was so neat that I was able to find this and wait till you see the price I got on it, guys. It was pink tag, so I got it for $1.50. Amazing, amazing deal. So this next piece I came across, I don't know much about it. I couldn't find any maker or anything or the age, but this is a double-headed candle snuffer and I thought this was really neat. I've never seen one of these before, so I had to get it. It was priced $2. I got it for $1.50 from having the 25% off and I thought it was a great find. I love the wooden handle there and I don't really tend to light candles, but uh, you know, if the power goes out, sometimes I do. So I don't know, I don't have one of these, so I thought I would grab it anyways. I really think it's neat. This next piece, I've actually never seen come in this color in person. I come across these quite often, but I haven't seen it in the pink actually own a green one. So this is a little vintage chopper, you see. Sometimes they they don't have the springs in them, so you have to be careful with that. 
because you know they won't really work that well but this one was good to go they had another one there in orange that didn't have the spring so i left it behind this is put out by gemco and i paid a dollar fifty for it so i was happy to get that so if you guys have watched one of my somewhat recent thrift hauls i believe it was the salvation army one where i got half off of everything I picked up the same exact Betty Crocker recipe library and the green and the back was melted and I didn't even realize it in the store because I was just so excited about the half off sale. This one is not melted. <laughs> I was happy to find this. I got it for $5 plus the 25% off. So not too bad. It does have all the recipes in it. Well, I'm assuming I didn't <laughs> check each one just to make sure everything was in there, but yeah, it's full of the recipes and I was happy to get a green one that was in great condition. So yeah, you see the top there, the Betty Crocker recipe card library. So I'm actually thinking about after the holidays, trying these recipes out and maybe sharing those videos with you. Let me know below if that's something you guys would be interested in. I'm not sure if you guys would want to see recipe, you know, vintage recipe videos or not, but yeah, I, just an idea I was thinking about doing and sharing with you guys, so let me know. So this last piece of milk glass that I'm sharing with you, I picked up in a yard sale actually this summer and I sent it off to this side and I forgot to share it with you guys. So it's just kind of been sitting in with my milk glass collection, but I thought I would share it here with you since I was showing you, you know, the other milk glass piece I got. And this is a Fenton hobnail piece. It has the ribbon edge here. I just think it's absolutely beautiful and it has the nice metal handle here. Just a little candy dish, and I, I love this piece, guys, so much. Guess how much I paid for this? I only paid $1. I was so excited to find this, and yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I don't often find salt and pepper shakers that I really like, but I thought these were really, really nice looking, and they looked mid-century to me, and I believe they are by International silver company which is a mid-century company that put out stuff like this these are gold plated and yeah i really like these i only paid well it was, wrap, was wrapped and had a two dollar tag on it so i paid a dollar fifty for the set they're quite hefty and i think they're a really fun piece this here was marked inside of a bag at two dollars so i paid a dollar fifty for it it's a nice copper measuring set it came with the little hooks and actually had the screws conveniently a little baggy so whoever donated this was kind enough to include the screws as well and i thought that this was really neat because you normally just have the one fourth either here or on the handle but it also has it written out on the sides here so i thought that was really neat and for only dollar fifty i thought that was a great find the last items I picked up at Goodwill before I show you a really cool thing that I picked up is a couple of wooden picture frames here. They were only 75 cents a piece. They don't have the glass or anything, but uh, I like this one a little bit better. It's a little bit thicker and I don't mind this one either. For 75 cents, I thought I could go ahead and grab it and use it in the future. A lot of times I get things that I don't like the frames on and they're kind of hard to paint because they'll have, I don't know, like a weird metal or plastic and I prefer the wooden frames. So I grabbed these just to keep on hand for, you know, if I ever want to do some reframing or, you know, these would make good DIY projects or something too. So I don't know. I just really like the frames and I figured for some of a sense of peace, you couldn't beat that. And the last thing I wanted to share with you is the new, to me, <laughs> mid-century 1950s for my good table set that I got on Facebook Marketplace. I really like the shape, well, design rather, on this table. I've been looking for one for quite a while and I just happened to come across this, so I did go ahead and pick it up. The chairs are in a little bit rough shape. They're comfortable, but I gotta try to, there's some stains on them. I gotta try to get it out and the, they're a little, you know, snaggly in spots because they are a cloth but they're super super comfortable and I don't really mind I'm gonna keep my eyes out for some different chairs for this but they work for now and I'm happy with them I'm gonna show you like they kind of have a cool design to them though I like the metal detailing to it I'm I am considering refinishing them somehow I'm not very good at upholstery or anything but I might attempt it with these because they are such a well-made chair and 
I think it would totally be worth it. So I might go ahead and try to refinish these, but still I'm gonna keep an eye out to see if I can find any chairs that I would like, but mainly I just couldn't pass up the table because I normally just see the, I guess, kind of plain white tannish color with, I don't know, like boomerangs or something on it. They are, you know, rather plain looking. I don't mind them, but I just really like the looks of this table. So I went ahead and paid for the full set and yeah, I'm really happy with it. That is my haul, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know below what was your favorite item I picked up, and we'll catch you in the next one, guys.